I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on our video, smash my like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notifications, and go follow me on Twitter, AKO Boxing 86 TV. For breakdowns and predictions, hit my email up, knockoutboxing 86 at yahoo.com. It's my email address. Don't forget about our live shows. You can catch me live every Wednesday and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. You can also catch me live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, but And um, let's get it popping, though, bro. we got so much to talk about. Why do you Terrence Bud Crawford fanboys and you damn Terrence Crawford content creators that all you do is cap and panda for this man, why won't y'all just keep it real, bro? Bomack, who is this man's manager, trainer, his right hand man, whatever you want to call Bomack, bro. Why won't y'all just keep it real and quit lying to fight fans, bro? We got Bomack out here capping, and we got people out here capping for him and pandering for Bud Crawford. He don't need y'all help. He don't need your help. He's supposed to be good enough to be able to take up for himself and fight the fight that we want to see. Y'all ain't got a lie for this man. We'll knock out. What you talking about? In the post-fight press conference, Bomack said, Nobody at 54 or 47 can beat him. The only question is, who is going to be willing to fight him? Now, I don't have no problem. Bomack is supposed to say, can't nobody beat Bud Crawford. If you got Bud Crawford beating everybody ass at 147, bro, I, bro, cool. That's your opinion. No one cares about that shit. We just dropped the video on... Everybody ain't doing shit but talking their opinions when it comes to Spence and Crawford. Until they fight each other, everybody's opinions, it is what it is. Ain't nobody's opinion more valid than the other until they fight. But these, this, what I'm talking about right now is just facts. Just shit that we don't need to be lying about, that we don't need to be capping about. So, I don't care nothing about Bo Max saying can't nobody beat Bud Crawford. He's supposed to say that shit. If he get in front of the camera and say, man, Bud Crawford... Man, Earl going to beat his ass. Then Bud should fire him, bro, because you supposed to be in that man's team and who you supposed to ride for. So no issues, bro. Then he says the only question, this is where the cap begin. The only question is who is going to be willing to fight him. You don't see nobody calling out Bud from 47 to 54. Bro, why would you have to go tell that lie, bro? We all know who is willing to fight him. And I ain't even calling out the people that called out Bud on some publicity, like cap type shit, like Virgil Ortiz, he was number one in the WBO, he had a chance to be Bud mandatory, he called out Bud Crawford, then he went the WBA route, we ain't talking about him in this Dallas, Texas all day, but, but Virgil didn't really want it like that. But for you to say that ain't nobody calling out Bud Crawford, when I know y'all follow Earl Spence Jr., your whole team follow Earl on Instagram, Follow Earl on Twitter and all that shit. And Bud Crawford sitting next to him, let him lie. But Bud, I saw your comments in Earl's post on on Instagram about his new merch. Calling you out with his new merch. You know, the one with the big fish on it. And he got the phone up to his ear making a phone call. Knocking on your door. The door that say TC on it. And then he put some eyeball emojis in the dark like you looking behind the door. Don't want to answer that hoe. You know, that call out that happened the day of your fight. And then for, for Bo Mack to come out here and say, hey, man, ain't nobody calling him out from 147. So you didn't see the only other champion in the division post that shit calling your mans out, bro. That's what you want me to believe? Nah, bro, you lying. You full of shit. And I know Bud saw it because you can scroll right down Earl Instagram and you can see Bud Crawford responding to that shit with some laughing emojis. I don't know what the hell is funny, bro. Like, y'all need to get it popping. So that's one guy that's calling you out. Furthermore, you was just in negotiations with him and he said, I'm going to spin the block. So we already know one guy calling you out and won't fight you. That agreed to everything you asked him to do and you claim that you agreed, but he's saying that you went off and did something else and, and he, they, you left him holding the bag. He still ain't announced the fight. You done went and fought a whole nother person. But ain't nobody calling out Bud Crawford at 147. I ain't even going to get on 154, bro, because... Bud ain't in that weight class, bro. Can't nobody be ducking you from 154 or calling you out from 154 if you ain't never been there yet. Is anybody in the 140-pound division ducking Devin Haney right now? You can say Tia Fimo was ducking Devin Haney back when they was at 135, but now that Tia Fimo is at 140, how can he duck Devin Haney when Devin Haney ain't even moved up yet? I guess, I guess what y'all want me to believe is that Monster Inaway is ducking everybody at Featherweight. 
Most anyway fights at Bantamweight at 118 pounds. Everybody at Featherweight is ducking Moss anyway because ain't nobody at Featherweight calling out his name from a whole different weight class above him. So I don't even care about the 54 shit. But on 147 alone, the only other champion, the only other champion, bro, the only other champion is calling your ass out. But ain't nobody calling you out. And then one of the top contenders in your division, Jerome Boutinis, I don't even want this fight. I'm not pushing for this fight. I don't want this fight. I want Bud Crawford versus Earl Spence Jr. But Jerome Boutinis is calling you out. He just said, man, that why they ain't send me no offer. I want both of them guys. Jerome Boutinis want Bud Crawford. He want Earl Spence. He want be champion, and he want his shot right now, bro. He calling you out. They never sent me no offer. If they sent me an offer, I would have accepted it in a heartbeat. Those was his exact words. But again, ain't nobody calling out your mans, bro. Mac, like, stop the cap, bro. Stop lying to these people, man. That will be getting me with these dudes, man. And then what y'all do as content creators, you lanes. What y'all do is is as fanboys, you lanes. What y'all do is y'all are just cap for the shit. Yeah, Boogie Man Bud. Don't nobody want to fight him. Boogie Man Bud. Don't nobody want to fight him. Everybody dug him. Don't nobody want to fight him. When we got a dude that was already in negotiation with him that's still trying to make the fight, that's calling him out, making merch calling his ass out. And we got another dude, a top contender, that's saying, if you send me an offer right now, I accept that shit in a heartbeat. But y'all telling people, don't nobody want to fight this man. I, I Like, this shit be baffling to me how some of y'all's brains work. Like, I don't think they work at all sometimes. You won't call out Bo Mac for lying. Won't call him out for lying. When you know it's a lie. That's my thing. Whether you hate Bud Crawford, whether you love Bud Crawford, whether you somewhere in between, wherever it is your your emotions are about the situation, whatever the case may be, bro. Y'all know that's a lie, man. Y'all know that shit a lie. And you just perpetuate the shit. You keep pushing the shit. Because you don't want this fight. You just want your narratives to be right. So you just keep running with shit that don't make no sense. Someone called him out the day of his fight. Spent money to have an artist make a whole design. Spent money to get t-shirts made so that they could sell them. Calling him out. <laughs> Y'all are like... Spent like Earl Spence Jr. spent money getting T-shirts made so that he can sell them online to people, just for the sole purpose of calling Terrence Bud Crawford out. And then after that, Terrence Bud Crawford's manager and trainer comes out and says, "Ain't nobody calling him out." And all you dudes go crickets, say nothing, got nothing to say. Instead, you want to talk about how defeating David Avenesian somehow makes Terrence Crawford the best welterweight in the world. Meanwhile, when Earl Spence defeated Yardinus Ugas, it was he ain't fought Bud yet, so he ain't proved nothing. My stance is, I think Earl the best. If you say Bud beat him, I ain't mad at you. You can think Bud is the best. I want to see the fight so we can see who right or who wrong. That's my stance, bro. And I don't lie and, 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 and do all that shit to do it, bro. Y'all be lying and capping out here for no reason, bro. Sad, bro. Sad. So, Bo, man, put the, put, put, put the, put the, put the microphone down, bro. If you just gonna lie, if you just gonna cap, put the microphone down and pick up your Big Mac that you had before you grab the microphone. Put the microphone down and pick up your chicken sandwich that you had before you grab the microphone, bro. Just do that. That's all I got, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment down below. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. Go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. For breakdowns and predictions, hit my email, knockoutboxing86yahoo.com. Appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.